United States is on the edge of a fiscal cliff. Time is running out for the government to raise its debt limit just ahead of the key meeting on U.S. investment. President Joe Biden criticized Republicans for their refusal to vote on a higher federal debt ceiling. We're not a deadbeat nation. We pay our bills. Biden added that Republicans are still divided on the debt ceiling and are pushing for draconian cuts in the budget. He said they have threatened not to raise the debt limit unless Biden and Democrats agreed to steep cuts in the upcoming budget. Our MAGA Republicans in Congress are threatening to undo all this progress by letting us, quote, default on the debt unless we agree to their demands. The two are totally unrelated. Whether you pay the debt or not doesn't have a damn thing to do with what your budget is, what your budget is, where you're going to spend money, how you're going to raise the money, how, what, what are you going to cut, what are you going to... That's the... There are two separate issues. The May 9 meeting at the White House will commence few weeks of negotiation before the U.S. runs out of money to pay its bills as soon as June 1st. But what will happen if the debt ceiling is not raised? How will this political divide pan out for U.S. economy? Over a few months ago, U.S. government hit its borrowing limit ever. Since then, the U.S. Treasury has been taking extraordinary measures to ensure the government can continue to pay its bills. On Sunday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer warned the country that a default would cut off millions of Americans who rely on Social Security. So we're here today with a warning for House Republicans as it relates to the MAGA Republicans' irrep irre irreparable, irresponsible uh, brinksmanship, hostage-taking with the debt ceiling and the possibility of default. Default is going to have so many problems for so many people, but we're here to highlight one, and it's three words. Social Security Shutdown. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.